changes definitely on the way for us. Our chief meteorologist Brian yep. Hale tracking all of it. Well, the door already there. opened. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> now the cold air comes on down and the dry air to boot. Mm -hmm. That means just as much temperature and humidity together play a big role in this forecast. Now take a look and you've got 26 up in the panhandle. Not too bad. You know, the storm system emanated out of Mexico. So this isn't some big old Canadian blast. This is a uh, well, kind of a homegrown deal where this low came out of Mexico and then made a diagonal across Texas, sucked in all that warm, moist air off the Gulf and turned it into severe weather potential from Houston to Beaumont. And for us, uh, the backside of this thing is just shoving some cooler air down our way. So it's not a big blast, it's just a, hmm, it's gonna be noticeably chilly. 46 degrees overnight tonight, clearing skies, north wind 10 to 20 miles an hour. So when you start the day out tomorrow morning, be sure that they're dressed appropriately. And again, radiational cooling is playing a big part of this. I love using this word, these words. Uh, radiational cooling is because uh, you, when you actually know something, you like to brag about it. Well, okay, I know about radiational cooling. And we're talking about the sun heating the ground and the ground heating the air during the day. And then, well, overnight, you don't have a blanket of clouds. All that warmth, or a lot of it, wafts out into space and leaves behind chilly temperatures. And it doesn't do it in a nice even blanket way either. You might have 46 tonight and then someone else you know down the road may have 44 or 45. Uh, take a look and you can see we bottom out in the mid 40s tonight and then we end up at about 67, 68 degrees tomorrow with lots of sun. Not a bad deal. Not after <laughs> that kind of front moving through. And then uh, we go through Thursday or Wednesday into Thursday morning and look at that. Once again, an overnight that lets our temperatures drop into the mid 40s. So tomorrow morning's not the only morning. It's going to be chilly. You got the next one too. 62 to 68 degrees from noon to three o'clock and a north breeze. Now the choppy conditions on the bay will turn to just moderate chop as the day wears on. Surf height will be about five to seven feet. We're talking about humidity. As I said, temperature and humidity working together in this forecast. It's going to be dry and that allows that, that radiational cooling to work faster, work better, that dry air and calm conditions. So you can see, yeah, those relative humidity numbers are low for tomorrow. Not so low on Thursday, but still low enough that it will be noticeably dry out there for the valley. High pressure is going to be in charge. What does that mean? Well, that means sinking air will be out there, and that means ah, clear and nice temperatures overall where you're in the sunshine, but still Thursday, maybe even a little bit cooler because of the persistent north breeze. This is where the sun and the breeze kind of fight for control of our forecast. The sun wants to warm it up, and the cool breeze from the north wants to keep it chilly. So you start at 44 on Thursday and you end up at 64 by afternoon. One of those days where it feels nice in the sun, but not so much in the shade. Now, talking about moisture, at the surface here where we stand is one thing, but up in the air several thousand feet is another thing. Now we're talking about dry air several thousand feet up being replaced by moisture from, yeah, the Pacific across Mexico. Yeah, here's us in the valley. This mid-level moisture is going to come uh, just marching across Mexico and provide us with fuel for clouds and plenty of cloud cover probably the second half of Friday and pretty much all of Saturday. Here you have Saturday cloudy, we'll call it overcast, 77. Then the clouds kind of break a bit and we're left with a south wind and 83 degrees on Sunday. Now, that's not a bad weekend. But there you go. Uh, now, I'd like to have some rain, but again, I'm, I'm kind of stymied here, not getting the rain. We had a couple of showers in Willisey and Cameron today uh, with that front, but that's pretty much about it. And that's pretty much about it for the forecast for you. For you. Yeah, yeah. that wind showed up and said, see you at the potty, Richter. Yeah. That's what it said when it got here. <laughs>